Thanks, everybody. Thank you. Thank you all so much. And uh, it is good to be here. Cherry, thank you for the kind introduction. And thank you to the World Trade Center of Greater Philadelphia for this honor. I want to recognize we've got several of our state elected officials uh, who are here. I want to thank them, thank our local elected officials. And I want to give a special congratulations to Michael Foreman on your well-earned, where'd he go? There he is. I was looking at you from over there. Your well-earned, well-deserved honor. Um, we thank you. We thank your team at FS, my former colleague, Representative Gerber, for all of your important work. So thank you very much. Appreciate you. And Linda, I want to salute you for your many years of service. I'll have a little something for you at the end, but I want to thank you for putting um, this organization on the map, for partnering with the Commonwealth, and for laying a great foundation for the next generation. We appreciate you very much. And I must say, it's great to be here tonight to kick off the Thomas Young era here at the World Trade Center. He's not going to like what I'm about to say because he's, he's all grown up now. But I watched him grow up. And I watched him grow up under the tutelage of two people whom I respect a great deal, who helped give him a strong foundation that I know has helped lead him to this day. That's my dear friend and Montgomery County Commissioner, and most importantly, big brother to Thomas Young, Ken Lawrence, who is here. You should be proud, Ken. And Ken helped pass him off to a great leader in our Commonwealth, State Representative Donna Bullock, where he served as her chief of staff and a great leader in her office. He's got a great foundation, and I think it says a lot about the foundation of this organization. They are able to take the great expertise and hard work that Linda put in and now pass the torch to the next generation led by Thomas Young that's going to lead us to even higher heights. We appreciate all of you for your contributions. And Thomas, I'm looking forward to your leadership. I'm looking forward to continuing to collaborate with you and the World Trade Center. And it's great to be here tonight in Philly with so many incredible leaders from the Pennsylvania business community, hardworking entrepreneurs, innovators, and leaders who lift up our city and our commonwealth every day, and who put their very best forward for our commonwealth, our country, and who demonstrate great global leadership. I know, and I believe in my heart, and I think the data backs this up, that you all collectively are major drivers of economic growth and opportunity all across Pennsylvania. Our economy, I believe, is tied not just to what happens within the borders of our commonwealth or our country, but all across this globe. International trade is critically important to the future vitality of this commonwealth, and I would say you all understand that better than most. Consider this for a moment. International trade supports nearly 1.6 million jobs all across Pennsylvania. That's one out of every five jobs in our Commonwealth depends in some measure on international trade. Foreign-owned companies created more new jobs in Pennsylvania than any other state in our nation in 2021. So that means we're kicking the butt of California and Florida and Texas and these other big states. We pride ourselves on those international connections. In 2022, Pennsylvania companies exported nearly $50 billion of goods to markets worldwide. International trade is good for business, good for workers, good for Pennsylvania, and it is key to our future economic strategy in the Commonwealth of Pennsylvania. I want you to know that our team at the Department of Community and Economic Development International Business Development Office works hard every day to support Pennsylvania companies that want to export their goods abroad. And we support international companies that want to do business here in our Commonwealth, employ our workers, and purchase our goods. 
I want to thank our DCD Secretary Sagan, our Deputy Secretary Briel, who's with us tonight, for their incredible work. They work. They work closely with our 10 regional export network partners all across our Commonwealth, including, of course, World Trade Center here in Greater Philadelphia. Together, we've had a lot of success helping Pennsylvania businesses expand in international markets. And we have worked directly just last year with 643 companies to do that important work. Take a look at a few examples. Bradford White Corporation, a manufacturer headquartered in Ambler, just about 10 miles north of here and pretty close to my home. The export advice they received from his partnership has helped them sell products in China and India, Mexico, the Middle East, and throughout Southeast Asia. Or DFT, a company in Exton, Chester County. The trade events that you helped organize helped them find distribution partners and expand sales to more than 35 different countries. We want to make them examples and build on that success so more companies here can have more success all across the globe. Together with partners like World Trade Center of Greater Philly, we offer through DCD a wide range of services to help Pennsylvania businesses export their goods and reach new marketplaces. We've got 13 trade representative offices worldwide covering 44 different countries. That's one of the largest state-sponsored export development programs in the entire country. We're proud of that. And I want you to know that my administration is committed to strengthening Pennsylvania's international connections, growing our economy, and creating more jobs. We've got great opportunities here in the Commonwealth. Heck, just go down to our port a world-class port run by some of your prior honorees, the Holtz, who were with us tonight. That is central to our growth, central to our mission, and central to global markets. And that is just one example. We need to move forward in our Commonwealth more quickly, more efficiently, and more effectively, and move at the speed of business. You know, my administration is relatively new. We're about nine months into this gig. And we live by three letters every day. This is what we focus on, G-S-D. And since tonight is sort of a formal night, a bunch of you are wearing ties, I'll just say it means get stuff done. That is our focus every day, getting stuff done. It's a new day in our Commonwealth. In just my first week in office, I signed two important executive orders that are rele relevant to all of you here tonight. First, I created the Office of Transformation and Opportunity, a one-stop shop for business, to cut through the red tape, to bring people together, and to be able to get big deals done. Led by our Chief Transformation Officer, Ben Kirshner, who's here, we are already putting points on the board and getting things done. Those of you who have not met Ben, make sure you meet him during a break in the action tonight. The second executive order I signed was a comprehensive review of all of the different permits and licenses and applications in our Commonwealth. Look, let's be frank. For too many years, it took too damn long to get things done in the Commonwealth of Pennsylvania. We have changed that culture. The day I was sworn in, it took eight weeks to get a corporate filing processed in Pennsylvania. Today, it takes just three days. We are moving at the speed of business, and it's a new day in Pennsylvania. We know that we need to continue to do better, and I hope all of you know that I'm competitive as hell. I want to win every day. I want us to land every opportunity. When we are ranked third or fourth or tenth in a category, I want us to be number one. I don't want us just to be a leader in the global economy. I want us to be the leader in the global economy, and I believe we can do that together. That's why our administration has planted a flag and made clear that Pennsylvania is open for business. Open for business within the boundaries of this Commonwealth, within the boundaries of this country, and all across this globe. Just yesterday, I announced that for the first time in more than two decades, we are developing a comprehensive strategy for economic development and growth all across this Commonwealth. 
Under Secretary Seiger and Director Kirshner's leadership, the Department of Community and Economic Development is assessing our areas of strength, is making sure that we assess our barriers to growth and determine what the best path forward is for economic opportunity. One of those paths certainly is making sure we expand our reach globally. Over the next few weeks, DCED is going to continue to solicit your feedback, and we want you to be honest. Because what we establish is our game plan going forward, that will be our Bible. That will be our plan of attack. That won't be a report that sits on a shelf. It will be what we refer to every day as we focus on our growth strategy all across this Commonwealth. We will have a comprehensive strategy with concrete goals, and we will have data-driven outcomes that we can share with you that we invite all of you to be a part of. Look, it's a new day in the Commonwealth of Pennsylvania. We have a new competitive spirit to go along with Thomas Young's competitive spirit. I hope you all feel a new sense of optimism. I hope you feel that you are part of our collective efforts here to reach out all across this country and all across this globe. I believe Pennsylvania should be a place where everyone, no matter what you look like, where you come from, who you pray to, or who you love, should have the freedom to chart your own course and the opportunity to succeed. And that means making sure we got good jobs in our community. That means making sure people have access to those good jobs in our communities. And that means having a vision that stretches far beyond this city and instead stretches internationally. I believe we can do that work together, and I'm grateful for the partnership that we are going to share. I'm honored by this award that you've given to me tonight, and I recognize that this award comes to me as governor, but really deserves to be given to all of the folks who work in our Commonwealth toward international business every single day. And so we'll dedicate this award to them. And before I yield the podium, I'd like to dedicate two important letters of recognition, one to Linda and one to Thomas. Linda, first to you for your incredible years of service to our Commonwealth, for laying that foundation and for giving us a chance to be successful here in the city of Philadelphia and all across the globe. We appreciate you, and we appreciate the way you have handed the mantle over to Thomas Young, and the future is bright with you, Thomas, as leaders. Thank you all very much. We appreciate you. Thank you.